Howdy folks and welcome back to the channel. Continuing my look at Valiverse Action Force Series 2A, my second most anticipated figure personally, I'm going to take a look at Action Force Rollout. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and let's get started. It's Kato! Always the first thing I want to do is take a look at the packaging and it continues with the Series 2A theme of the blue to black fade on the box. You can see Action Force and Rollout there with Rollout displayed behind the plastic with all his accessories. Action Force logo on the side. Some Rollout artwork and Rollout 0201 on the other side. And the rest of the Series 2 wave complete. That's Series 2A and B with the rollout bio and two action points. If you are curious and want to read the rollout bio, just give that a quick pause. Inside the box, we get some pretty standard accessories. Of course, we get the Action Force stand, which I'm a huge fan of. We get the modular helmet where the sides can come off and you can add the uh, infrared or night vision goggles. You have an extra head sculpt here that is masked. Of course, you get the same hands that we've gotten throughout the set, just colored to match his uniform. We get a reuse of the pistol that we saw a lot in series one, the knife. And it looks like we have a scar silenced. Of course, the mag is removable and you have two additional mags. Now on the figure in the box, the handgun is on his side and the mags are in his vest. We'll take a look at it, but it's basically the same. It's not basically, it's a recolor of the Condor vest and accessories. And just in case you wanted to get a nice close-up look of that additional head sculpt, that's it there. I don't know if I'll use it, but possibly. And just because I love this rifle so much, maybe my favorite rifle color and accessory combination overall I think this thing looks beautiful. And that takes us right to Rollout. And right away, I really like him. I think he looks good. It's a real clean figure. Um, I, don't, I don't know if that makes sense. The vest looks like uh, it is definitely Condors. The lower body is the same as Slaughter with the boots, uh, that uh, tucked in pants to the boots. The upper body looks to be the same as Duster. Uh, I should say, since this is, for all intents and purposes, uh, the first figure in the line, that the others share his mold uh, split, but you get the idea. Uh, I think it works. Uh, it's a lot of reuse of accessories with the same pistol that we got with most of Series 1 and the knife here. That makes sense. I guess it's uniform, right? They, they would be issued a lot of the similar stuff. Just may bore some folks. Uh, that are looking forward to some more weapons. For me, it's fine. I think it makes perfect sense, and it works for me in my collection. Uh, the head sculpt, I think, looks good. Nice bald head. I'm trying to think what celebrity he kind of reminds me of, but I like the goatee. Mustache looks good. A little bit of, you can see a little bit of detail there. If it'll, there we go. Between the eyes there, a little bit of wrinkle in the forehead in between the brows. I think that looks good. But yes, this is definitely, I'll bring the other figures in in a second. Tim Kennedy's upper body and Sarge's lower and the accessories of Condor. Yeah, uh, even the gun, I believe, Condor had a different colored silenced scar. So yeah, the I could see a lot of reuse here. I think it looks good. Uh, articulation is going to be what we've seen before. You've got a disc and a ball, so he can look down, up, rotate around, no problem. Of course, he'll pop right off and put the other head sculpt on. Arms will go out that far. Rotate 360. Nice butterfly. The butterfly is painted the color of the upper chest. Rotation at the bicep. Over 90 degree bend. You've got rotation at the wrist. And where's the in and out? The in and out is dice roll. Okay. 
on the waist. You've got waist rotation. You, of course, have that same ab crunch, and you can use some of that there. That vest will get in the way a bit. Legs will go all the way out, rotate at the upper thigh, 90 degree knee bend, toe, uh, more than 90 degree, I don't know why I said that. Uh, toe tilt, ankle rocker, and legs will go all the way out, up and back until they hit the butt, and then drop down to get a little further if you like. We also have boot rotation here. I like these, I like these tucked in, and you get that nice boot rotation there. Overall, Pretty much what we've gotten with the rest. No complaints. Again, I did not heat this figure up right out of the package and to the camera. So hopefully that's a good sign for everyone else out there. For my first comparison, I wanted to bring in all the parts that basically make rollout possible. So you have the upper torso and sleeves of Duster. You have the lower torso of Sarge. You have the accessories of Condor with a new head sculpt and skin tone. I think that's a great reuse of stuff. Some folks may disagree because, you know, some folks want a new weapon, a new everything with every character. It's just not going to be the way it happens. But uh, I think it works. And for a little G.I. Joe classified comparison, there he is beside Duke and Roadblock. And finally, with his other Series 2A figures that I've reviewed so far, Duster and Sarge version 2. So there you have my look at Valiverse Action Force Series 2A rollout. Overall, a lot of reuse of other parts. Nothing new in the industry. Marvel Legends did it with the Bucky Cap mold forever. Uh, the only thing I would say is that hopefully as more characters come in with new sculpts, we get a little bit more... Uh, diversity of parts in the line but overall i think it's a great use my favorite weapon in the line is that scar silence the same one that condor got i have really no complaints overall about it it's not a surprising figure but it's definitely a great addition to the collection and i after reading the bio i already like the character guys thanks so much for watching as always i appreciate each and every view it goes a long way on this youtube journey if you made it this far and haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button smash that like button and if you're interested in learning more about channel membership and you're in a position to help just click that join button for more info subscribe to the other rejecticons at sardo new spidey 2 larkins layer and inu tabi and until next time this is kato signing out oh yeah be on the lookout for scarab tomorrow see you around like a donut It's Kato!